The Advanced Extremely High Frequency 5 satellite, AHF-5, is the fifth in a series of communication satellites developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Air Force. The AHF system is designed to provide secure, survivable communications for the President, the Secretary of Defense, and other high-ranking government officials during a nuclear war or other national emergency. If you also enjoy this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos. The AHF satellites use advanced encryption and jamming resistance technologies to ensure that communications remain secure and reliable even in a highly contested electronic warfare environment. The satellites operate in geostationary orbit, which means they remain in a fixed location relative to the Earth's surface and can provide coverage to the entire continental United States and parts of Canada and Mexico. The AHF system is a follow-on to the Milstar system and provides improved communications capabilities including greater bandwidth, improved anti-jamming capabilities, and the ability to provide simultaneous communications to multiple users. The satellites also have cross-links capabilities that allow the satellites to communicate with each other directly, rather than relying on ground stations, which provides an added layer of security and resiliency. This satellite has a design life of 15 years, but with advanced maintenance capabilities, and is expected to operate for more than 22 years. The satellite carries a number of advanced payloads, including a high data rate payload, a low data rate payload, and a control and monitoring payload. These payloads are used to provide a wide range of communications capabilities, including voice, data, and video transmissions. The AHF-5 satellite also carries a number of crosslink payloads, which allow the satellite to communicate directly with other satellites in the AHF constellation, as well as other military satellites, such as the Wideband Global SATCOM System, WGS. This crosslink capability provides an added layer of security and resiliency, as it allows the AHF system to continue to operate even if ground stations are disabled or destroyed. The AHF-5 satellite is also equipped with a number of advanced technologies to improve its resistance to jamming and interference. These include advanced modulation schemes, beam forming, and frequency agility. It is controlled and operated by the Air Force's 4th Space Operations Squadron, which is located at Schriever Air Force Base in Colorado. The squadron is responsible for the day-to-day -day operation and maintenance of the AEHF system, as well as planning and executing upgrades and enhancements to the system. It is also designed to be highly secure, using advanced encryption and anti-jamming technologies to protect communications from unauthorized access or interference. This makes the AEHF system ideal for use in sensitive military operations or other high-priority missions where security is of the utmost importance. The AEHF-5 satellite was launched on January 17, 2023 aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It will be operated by the Air Force's Space and Missile Systems Center and will be positioned at 105 degrees west longitude. Once the satellite is fully operational, it will be used to provide secure communications to the U.S. military, as well as other government and international partners. Here are some additional details about the AEHF-5 satellite. The AEHF system is designed to provide a wide range of communications capabilities, including voice, data, and video transmissions, as well as command and control capabilities. The system is able to provide high-speed, jam-resistant communications for a wide range of military and civilian users, including aircraft, ships, ground vehicles, and individual soldiers. 
The AEHF system is also designed to be highly interoperable with other military and civilian communication systems. This includes the ability to interface with other military satellite communication systems, such as the wideband global satcom system, as well as the ability to interface with commercial satellite communication systems. The AEHF-5 satellite and its system is also designed to be highly resilient and able to continue to operate even in the event of a catastrophic failure. This includes the ability to automatically switch to backup systems or redundant components in the event of a failure, as well as the ability to perform on-orbit repairs and maintenance. Additionally, the satellite is equipped with advanced error correction and data compression algorithms, which help to improve the efficiency and capacity of the communication system. The AEHF system is designed to provide global coverage with the ability to communicate with users in any location on Earth. To wrap it up, AEHF-5 satellite is built on the A2100 spacecraft platform with a design life of 15 years but expected to operate for more than 22 years. It carries a number of advanced payloads, including a high data rate payload, a low data rate payload, and a control and monitoring payload, and it provides secure, survivable communications for high-ranking government officials during national emergency. Please let us know how much you think the satellite technology will improve within the next couple of years. If you also enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos.